Okay, I have to admit something, and that is that I actually tried to record this video once, and then at the end I was like nearing the end, and then it was all, all bleh. So I'm actually retaking the whole thing, but that's okay. So I was tagged by Bookish North or Elizabeth, um, a fellow Norwegian booktuber, uh, to do the Meet the Booktuber tag. So I'll link both to Elizabeth and to the original tag video down in the description book, bo book box. <clears throat> so you can go and have a look if you, you're interested. Uh, I can recommend following Elizabeth. She's a um, she's a fellow Norwegian and support your Norwegian booktuber. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll get to the questions now. Uh, please give your name, age, and location. My name is Elin, if you don't already know. I am 45. I turn 46 in October, so that's a far, long way away. So no bookish gifts for me until October, hopefully. I'm hoping for books always. Um, and location is Oslo, which is the capital of Norway. Um... So yeah, but I've lived a lot of places actually. I've moved a lot. Um, I lived in the very north of Norway, in Hammerfest for three years. I lived in the southwestern Norway for in Sunnes for five and a half years. I lived in Cardiff in Wales in the UK for a period. I've lived several other places as well for several different reasons. Um, most of my childhood, because we moved a lot around before I was start before I started school, um, we moved. My family moved a lot. A lot. Um, uh, so I grew up in a really small part in like the not the wilderness, but fairly rural eastern part of Norway, in a county that was called Hedmark. It doesn't exist any longer because it's now. Um, Merge with another county which, called, which was called Upland, and it's now in Lanna, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, sure, that was a really, really, really like long answer to that, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> do you have any siblings? And if so, where, where do you come in the sibling order? I have a brother, uh, he's slightly older than me, uh, I think it's like 14 and a half months or something. Um, I wasn't exactly planned, uh, so my mom actually once told me I you weren't that I wasn't planned but very welcomed, uh, and never felt unloved or anything. On the contrary, I always felt loved. Unfortunately, um, so what do you do for work or uni? Uh, I work as a librarian. I have two degrees. I first did a candidata magistri, it's called. It was the old system, so now younger, a lot of younger people don't even know what this is. And I did it in humanities, so I have a degree in humanities with a uh, English major. Um, and I also did a bachelor uh, later on uh, when they changed system. So I also have a bachelor, like the new system kind of thing, in library and information science, where I graduated uh, in 2005. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of education. I also had, did some sociology uh, at a point. Uh, I was working full time and did some studying on the side because of my little bit of a geek. Um, I did it for fun and I, was, I had just moved to a new place and didn't really know anyone and needed something to do. So why not study, right? Uh, do you have kids is the fourth question. And the answer is no, I don't have any kids. Um, I am not planning on having kids ever. Uh, if I once, I've never really wanted my, especially kids, especially not my own kids. Um, I, I, um, once thought, when I thought about it, I said that, well, if I'm going to have kids, I will adopt, uh, though it's never really been, um, in a situation where I wanted kids. Do you have any pets? No, unless you count dust bunnies. Um... Can you drive? 
not really. Well, I, I did try to drive. I even tried to get my license. Uh, that didn't happen for several, uh, different reasons. So in a way, I knew how to drive for a period, uh, but that was like a long time ago. That was like 93, I think. So a long time ago. Um, I don't think I was spe especially interested in actually learning how to drive, but it was like expected. So I tried and then, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so I don't drive and it's fine. I don't need to drive. I, I can live a perfectly good life um, if I don't get to a place because I don't have a car. Well, then I don't go there. Simply as that. Um, what is or was your favorite subject at school? So I'm going to say favorite subjects. I have a few favorites. I had a few favorite subjects. I, I really liked uh, Norwegian, English and history. Um, so they were my favorite uh, subjects in school. And I think when it comes to favorite subjects, uh, I think it has a lot to do with the teacher you have because uh, I wasn't especially bad in maths or sciences. I just found it boring. It was boring. Um, and I grew up in a really small place. So I guess the, well, anyway, yeah, I would live limited uh, <laughs> of, of good teachers. I don't know. I don't know. I'm... Well, I, they didn't make it the, the subjects interesting for me anyway, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, I had a really good, especially from grade uh, 7 to 9, uh, which was the old system back then. It's changed now. It's a different school system in Norway now than when I went to, went to school. Um, uh, I, I had a really good teacher in Norwegian. I had a really good teacher in history and, and, and English, and that was the same teacher. Um, so he was actually the one who told us that if you really want to learn good English, I would recommend you to start reading books in English. And I, I, I enjoyed school. I liked school. I'm, I'm a geek. Uh, so I went to the library. I picked up a book in English and I read it. And I might not, uh, might not have understood everything, but I learned a lot from it. Uh, so that it's like when people ask me, about like uh, what what how what would you do, recommend to do to learn another language? Because uh, as you can hear, uh, English as is not my my native language at all. Um, it's easy to hear. I have a slight accent, um, so uh, my native language is Norwegian, uh, of course. Um, so I would say read books and practice uh, or use it. Go where the language is spoken and preferably, if you can, live there for a while uh, and use it. And Or nowadays when you have internet and it's so easy to kind of communicate over, over the internet, why not find like a chat friend or something and, and communicate and read articles in the other language, like find a newspaper or something online. So yeah, so I, I so I had a really great English teacher who recommended to read English books. So I did that and I've, I've continued to read books in English as you probably have guessed if you follow my my channel, my humble channel. channel. Uh, so that was the seventh question. And then the eighth question, what is your favorite color? Well, I would say black but I guess black isn't a color technically speaking so I guess I'll have to go with purple then purple is a nice color um there are a few colors I really dislike like beige I'm not sure if beige is technically a, technically a color either uh nor am I a big fan of pink uh to be honest I'm not a pink pink girl at all um, if others like pink, fine. <laughs> I'm not against pink. It's just not my color. Um, so the next question, what is your favorite smell? <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, no, 
Smells is something I could talk to you about for a very long time because I suffer from migraines and I suffer from allergies. And smells are huge triggers, huge, especially for my migraine and especially perfume. So I have a really strong dislike for, for perfumes. Uh, <clears throat> and when my partner is Irish, so when we go to... So we got to uh, uh, Ireland, uh, we have to go by plane, uh, so otherwise it will take too long and be too, too expensive. Uh, so when we get it, so the Oslo airport is nice because they have these, uh, and a whole hallway where you can go that is outside of the tax-free shop. But a lot of airports, they have, you have to go through the tax-free shop to get to either to your flight or to your luggage. And that for me is horrible. I try to like hold my breath and run through it if possible. Um, Cause otherwise it might trigger my migraines, which is not good. Uh, I once was on a train and there was someone who sat down beside me and they had a perfume on that I, I don't know what sort of perfume it was, but Thank you for that, because that actually my, made my eczema break out. So I had like, after getting off the train, I had like my face full of eczema. Awesome! So if you are a perfume user, try to think about others when you put it on. Uh, especially if you travel by like flight or public transport or something. Uh, or go to a public place where you're going to meet people. Because there might be others like me who'd get migraines or allergy attacks or something like that. Yeah, so strong, strong, passionate speech here from me on smells. But my favorite smell, I grew up fairly close to the woods. So I would say that my favorite smell is the woods, especially after it have, has rained, when it's like, it's like in the spring or autumn or summer and it's rained and yeah. So that is my favorite smell. And the last question, the 10th question is, what is your favorite book or top 10? No, top three, <laughs> top 10, no, top three. And my top three novels are as follows. Never Wear by Neil Gaiman. Never Wear by Neil Gaiman and Never Wear by Neil Gaiman. This is a big copy, isn't it? Yeah, so no, just kidding. Um, my favorite novel of, of uh, is obviously Never Wear by Neil Gaiman. I have other copies as well, uh, but that wouldn't work, would it? So uh, this is a really beautiful edition with like a tube map inside it's not that interesting under the dust jacket but hold on it's signed so when i got this signed it was the second time actually i met neil gaiman um for a book signing uh the first time was in 2003 I think, or four, I think it was 2003. And then I got some other books signed, but then I got this signed in 2000. Ooh, I can't remember now, but it was, I would say not that long ago, but it's probably been a few years already. <clears throat> so, and I got so starstruck that I've forgotten to tell him my name. So. It's not too alien, it's just like Neil Gaiman, and then it says here, mind the gap. Uh, so I have some other books by him that has been signed as well, but to get my favorite, favorite book signed, especially this hardback, was really great. So, so yeah. Um, so the question is, who do I tag? Well, I tag everyone. I tag you. Uh, so if you want to do this tag, uh, that would be fun. I think it's a fun tag. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. And I will see you in my next video. 
which will be a book review, I think. Yeah. Bye now.